H and I C. And we're not talking about the album. We're talking about a fictional. It's a fictional book, right? Yeah, novel. Oh, a novel. Damn, and, and, damn. He's a he's an author official because this is his second book, Prodigy. Right. First one did good, right? Without, without, without. Yeah, the first one was like real controversial. You know what I'm saying? I had to get out to my car with the bulletproof yeah, umbrella. It was autobiography. You know some real shit. Yeah, put you on blast, who kid? Yeah, I don't <laughs> care. You know me. And <laughs> as for DJ Who Kid, <laughs> like I'm, you could, you, there was like the index and who, like I, I remember index. <laughs> you know, like Who Kid, page fifty six. <laughs> DJ I'm, Who Kid would procure. <laughs> The groupies. I was the guy that had to organize. I put the moisture together in, in every chapter. <laughs> the moisture. You're killing me with that, yo. <laughs> How many chapters I had on the, on your first book, The Infamous? Uh, you was in there, infamous was life. In there a lot, man. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm so the happy G, right The now. G unit chapters. Yeah. <laughs> no, those were great. They read like a, like a fucking reality TV show. Yeah, I yeah. had to hit 50. You know, when we signed the G unit, yeah. 50 made us sign the... The, the, the paper that says oh, yeah, you can't right. talk about nothing get out of here about me uh, boom. it's called like what confidentiality yeah, confidentiality he makes everybody sign that that's crazy so when I, clearly when I, he didn't sign when I wrote the book <laughs> it's like shit when I wrote the book you know I, t- I had to tell 50 like yo is it okay if to I put this, the G in patch yeah. chapter in there and he was like yeah no problem got it <laughs> a lot of people think that you know I was trying to pull a publicity stunt yeah. just to sell books that wasn't even the case though I just felt like a lot of things just needed to be known and that you was your saying? that was your first uh, piece of work that has to do with anything with books. No, yeah, that was my first in the in the, in the uh, literary world. That was my first uh, book. Uh, I wrote a movie called Murder Music. You know, back in '99, we put it out straight to DVD. Mm. And then right after that, like a few months after I finished the script for Murder Music, I wrote H and I C. That oh, was supposed wow. to, this is actually supposed to be the second movie that we put out. The Murder Music, the movie was supposed to come out with Murder Music, the album. H and I see the movie was supposed to come out with my first was solo that, was, album. Was that the movie you, know you had out where they were like shooting people, but they were pulling the the, the, the wire off of people's heads? Like you know when you shoot what somebody the in the head, you know when they shoot somebody in the head, <laughs> and they, they pull the wire to look like there's a hole. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking nah. about? Yo, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? I nah, shot man. Nine in the face or something? I don't know. Man. <laughs> Now we had <laughs> we had professional special effects. It wasn't okay. no wires. You talking about old Flash Gordon Godzilla yeah. movies, yeah, man? Yeah, two thousand like flying guillotine. It's the future, man. What you talking about, man? <laughs> no prodigy. I've known Prodigy since he was like sixteen, and Word. I've never heard him laugh so hard. Yeah. Except when he's around your dumb ass. Well, he did not shoot Nas in the face. <laughs> nah. But yeah, I did do a movie with all the rappers in there. Yeah, right? that was that was murder music. So put, Nas was in there, right? I put, yeah, I had everybody from Queensbridge. I got everybody together because I wanted, like, Queensbridge was such an influence in my life because you know I'm not from Queensbridge. You okay. know what I'm saying? And I never claimed to be from Queensbridge. I always said I was from Hempstead, Long Island. That's crazy. And but but I claimed Queensbridge because mm. I repped it. Like you know what I'm saying? But I never was like, yeah, I'm from Hempstead. Queensbridge. Was rough too, kid. Like, yeah, Hempstead is serious, Jesus man. Like it's not, it's, that that's the ghetto. Man. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is a straight ghetto, dog. Like you know what I mean? And then you guys borderline with suburbia. Like you know what I mean? But anyway, Queensbridge was such an influence in my life, and you know I respected the people out there so much, like Nas and Cormega. It's just like mm. so much of an influence in my music in my life that. I wanted to make a movie about the projects, and wow. I, I felt like the projects deserved that. Like the people and everybody out there deserved to be immortalized in a movie. Like you know what I mean? So that was the reason why I did that. Was that the same time when uh, Tupac had his movie out? Were you influenced by all the other movies that was yeah, out? Yeah, I, I was definitely influenced by Crush Groove. Yeah, Paul. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, about it, about it. You know what I mean? That's when About It, About It came out. That was a big movie. That was a hood classic yeah, right there. Hood classic. So I wanted to. I wanted. Queensbridge to have the same thing. I wanted us, I wanted Mob Deep, Nas, Cormega, everybody that's from the hood to have that same thing. But you nobody, I mean? the, who had that best acting skills? Was it like very, it was off the head or I it was like. Noid. Noid was, Noid was like the, <laughs> <laughs> Noid was the best actor in that movie. I look at myself and I cringe and I'll be like, oh, <laughs> let me stick to writing these joints. <laughs> <laughs> you know he has a H and I K coming out. It's for the kids out there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't know. H- it's a kid book. I don't know. H K I C. Yeah, H K I C. My bag. Shit. I'm Stupid. sorry. H and I K. I'm like, what the fuck is that? 
We, so it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> super fiction. It's not about anybody in the hood. Nah, nah, ain't nobody. Cause, cause that, be, that would mean you'd be snitching on somebody nah, with killing anybody. and all that crazy. Yeah, stuff. ain't nothing like that. All right, let's you get that shit. A lot of people's like, yo, P. Dry snitching in the first, but oh, he's snitching. <laughs> ain't none of that shit, man. Fuck up out of here, man. But that's good. But that's good press. It's yeah, bad because, you know, a press. lot of artists came out with books and nobody gave a fuck about those books. Right, man. Like, how many people right. came? Like, 10 people came through it, and I, you that's had more I, hype I, than I, I, anybody. That's why I wanted it to be real, man. I wanted it to be real. And I talk a lot, you know what I mean, about my own self, like, yeah. my own shortcomings. Like, it's not like I'm just trying to point people out and make myself look like I'm all this, you know, clean cut and everything goes well for me. Mm. Nah, you know what I mean? I take my losses, you know what I mean? And I'll show you, like, the bad parts of me. All in that book, well, and I'm in that shit like in every chapter, kid. Hey. And I talk about how you the the biggest hole on tour. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> moisture. <laughs> Shout out to Havoc. He has a yoga book coming out, but I don't Come know. On. That's why he told me. Yo, if Hav drop a book, yeah. I swear to God, man, he has like a yoga. It would be shit like the out. number one bestseller in yeah. the world. You know, yoga's big now. You know what I'm saying? Right? Well, it's small for him, but you know whatever. Well, let, let's get out of there, man. Uh, your <laughs> half album. book, half book is coming too. Oh, he does have a book on the low. It's coming. Holy shit! It's called it's called the Silent Partner. Okay, yeah, and you know that's him all day, man. He all really day. doesn't want to be famous, that dude, man. Like he's really on. Nah, he just want the bread. Yeah, the the, the cashio. That's he just it. Want man. that money and make beats. Mob <laughs> Deep album. Uh, out of all this, like you know, putting the book together, is there? Is there any plans, like, uh, any name, any any titles for the, the next Mob album? Yeah, we've been working on it. We've been working on it. We got like nine songs right now. Fire 2. No, no it, title yet, right? Have did all the production. We, we were talking about for a while now. We've been talking about the next album should be titled Mob Deep. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been talking Self. about that for a while. Okay. Self-titled, because we never had a self-titled album, so. You know, um, Stretch is working on a movie for us right now, right? Stretch yeah, on documentary. He's doing a documentary. Him and Nick oh. Quested is doing the Mob Deep documentary. Get the fuck out of here. Nick Quested, yeah. who, by the way, won an Academy Award. That's hot. I don't know if you were aware of that. Yeah, it's about to. It's, for, we're going to put it in the film festivals and all. It's going to be crazy, yo. So they, they actually, like, followed you guys and like, yeah, did some real shit? Yeah, projects, went to our neighborhoods, talked to interview people. Did they interview you? Nah, fuck Yeah, us. they, they got to they gotta, <laughs> gotta get your interview, man. Did they, they, they interview did, did, everybody they, that we came up in the game with, like, people that Did they that catch you, us. like, mad, or did they catch you, like, during, like, your downtime? Or? Yeah, they caught us the whole thing. Like, they got everything. All right, so I have yeah. to I have to ask, because if anybody that's been around Mob Deep and, and toured with them or whatever, they know when, when have knocks out, He's out. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, like <laughs> yeah, you could be yeah. like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> like, yeah. When, he, oh. <laughs> when he had black, he black out. <laughs> he black out when he black. He's not playing with it. He blacks out all the way. He's not, he not half stepping <laughs> like, with it. Like you could. Like, Ain't no such thing. Fire halfway crook. Go you know what <laughs> is it is it similar to the like the um the the last um uh, movie that came out with um with Q Tip and all them like kind of like that? it's similar in a way that it's a documentary about a rap group, but you know it's Mob Deep. You know what I'm saying? So I would it's love like, to see the you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very different. So damn, man. <laughs> I want to see it. You, got, you get angry in it? Do you get fucking pissed off? Like, oh, nah. It ain't no, it ain't no bullshit like Q-tip that. Q-Tip was it, mad. Q-Tip but, was like humping and crying and stuff. But it's definitely oh. real. Like You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. We're not, we not trying to sugarcoat nothing or nothing like that. Like, oh, okay. it's, it's real shit. Like, it's good because it, it, gets, it gives people to show the history and the, and, uh, and the people that came up with us, people that helped us, like Maddie and, um, you know. Free. Like uh, all yeah. the original cast is no. in the movie too. Reef, the original, wow, Stretch, Bobito, Stretch look crazy now, right? With the beard, he look like <laughs> fucking I don't know, he look Sasquatch or something, man, right? Uh, like a Jewish Sasquatch. OG, right? that's the OG right there, <laughs> man. I think he has, I think his fucking teeth go. I think he has a bearded, like a bearded teeth or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, man. I love Stretch. You know, Stretch is what started me with Hot, with Hot Nights. Stretch put the whole thing together for us, like yep. the documentary. He the one that it was his idea. Like, yo, y'all need this. Come on, let's you do know what's it. crazy about Stretch? Jay Z used to sleep on his floor in his crib. You know that, right? Like, used to like wait to get songs played, and he used to like sleep on his floor, like to play songs or do something like some real shit. I, I don't so, believe that. That's why you told me. You know, Stretch never lies, man. <laughs> yeah, you looking at me like what? You know, he's not a liar, right? You looking at me like yo, you know we made that what? song. You know the New York, New York, L.A., L.A. That whole. Oh, that's you made that in. We the... made that in Stretch Crib. Oh shit! Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with, the, with those little dogs, Beano. the pugs, and all that. The fucking <laughs> you and his crazy ass cat. Word, <laughs> the fucking pug. Stretch and Bobito, man. Shit, they, they, when we first came up, man, they was like the first ones, man. Show us mad love on the radio. But uh, isn't it mind boggling? Like, what was that twenty years ago? That's just fucking nuts, man. That shit make me feel old, man. 
but we don't feel like it. I don't know. Maybe is, was it an oil that you're drinking? Look, you, when you get calling a book of secrets, how to still look the same way you do, man. It's coming. It's coming. That's, a, That's the some next shit. Then there's another autobiography coming out. Oh, and it's a continuation one. of the first one. Is it something like the, the shit you go through and then try to keep healthy? Like, yeah, yeah I you talk know, about a lot of health shit. There gotta be a million people that's like you out there. And I then, definitely talk about a lot of health shit. And, and dealing with know. the pain, you got the food, the health shit. Like, yeah, man. That's some serious shit, because you, you rap about that shit a lot in a lot of the albums. And coming up, I was destroying myself, man. Damn. You know, I used to wake up and drink E&J for breakfast, dog. Get the fuck out of here. St. Ives for breakfast, blunts, like, yep. destroying myself. What I didn't even that? realize what I was doing to myself. Oh, like, shit. I mean, it destroys anybody, but I had sickle cell. Yeah. And I didn't realize, like, oh, oh, yeah, you can't do that and have sickle oh, cell. Like, shit. I had to figure that out later. What's like, that do? That, 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 like, confuses the disease or, or man, it makes that you just feel... Man, makes it a million times worse. Oh, you shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause, I didn't know that. That's yeah, cool. man. It's crazy. I, th I thought it would, like, compress the pain or it make nah, you feel man. fucked up. And it exacerbates it. Yeah, it makes it a million times worse. So I was, like, just killing myself coming up, man. Like, we was really doing the things we was talking about, like... Shit. Hennessy, E and J, they owe us checks. <laughs> we made that shit popular. Straight like that. Nas deserved the money that Henny gave to him. Like, oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, right. shit. Yeah, them niggas owe. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of companies owe a lot of rappers for blowing shit up for like ridiculously, man. Versace, 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 Versace. <laughs> you got they owe, they, Versace owe Biggie and Puff. Yeah, Big they, time. They oh need to pay God. Biggie Mom something, man. Jesus Christ. Miss Wallace something. And Drake needed a little check now too, man. That shit is like, are you doing a remix to that too? Nah, man. Are you gonna do like a, I don't know. I uh, can't do it. Uh, <laughs> I can't see you wearing some Versace. The song is cool some though. silky like, shit, like a silk pad. Like back in the days when it was Versace was dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, I mean, they still got some dope pieces, like a couple of jewelry things is cool, but like, you know what I'm saying? We did that. They already. got the silk hot waters now. That's we done moved sick, past that. Son. Sicky. I just can't do it. Me personally, <laughs> I can't do it, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You like, imagine Pete walking the up only there thing, with the hot waters? The only crazy. thing Gucci or Versace or Fendi that you will ever <laughs> see me with. It's shoes. It's a suit. Oh, like a uh, straight up. Like, like, like a suit. Like, yeah, and then I throw that on some shoes, suit. Like, you know, but I can't be. Uh, yeah, but you can't be going to court all hooked up, man. Shit, like, man. Come Coney, on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Running around with the Gucci belt. Like, come on, man. Yeah, hey. yo, that's nigga shit. That's man. corny to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well,